Okay, so first of all, don't do that. Well, yes, it is super quick and easy, but have you ever tried unparenting that thing without it messing everything up? Yes, there are some workarounds, like there always are, but why would you even consider doing that if you could just do it properly? Actually, you don't even have to do that if you just use the dynamic parent add-on. However, I'm going to show how to manually do it first and then show how the add-on works. Just go to the object constraint properties and add a child of constraint. You have to select your rig and then the bone you want to parent your object to. Now just press set inverse and that's it. To unparent, just put a keyframe on the influence. Go to the next frame, then press the X next to the influence slider and add a keyframe if it's not keyed automatically. And again, that's it. But now to the fastest and easiest way, the dynamic parent add-on. Just select the bone you want to parent your object to, then go into object mode, shift select your object and in the add-on press create and now it's parented. If you want to unparent it again, you just have to press disable. Link to the add-on is in the description. Honestly, I can't really see a reason why you wouldn't want to use it, but yeah.